Hello, my name is Ham Donishman, and thank you for joining for another session for our Verus' uh, video series. And today we are going to talk about uh, the functionality around scheduling and what we call schedule, schedule sync. So I'm going to go ahead and log in to one of our sites, and this is the uh, demo site that we have set up. Um, and this particular site has multiple different applications loaded on it and different equipment that are tied into it. So it is logging in right now and uh, we should get the first screen that we will see uh, is uh, our spaces, which is a new feature. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of that. I'm going to go into what we call our device page. And device page is what shows us the entire architecture of the system based on its addressing and naming and what type of equipment are we connected to and what is the application if it's zoning, if it's a single zone rooftop or other types of application that we have connected. So again we're going to talk about scheduling. Uh, so today we're going to talk about what's called schedule sync. So our schedule sync is, is pretty straightforward but it's a different uh, unique way of scheduling uh, devices and the difference uh, when I say it's unique the difference is is that basically what schedule sync does is that our smart billing hub can provide a schedule and that schedule could be gathered in one location which would be smart building hub and then you will sync that schedule that's why it's called schedule sync to the devices that are uh, that are connected to that schedule so this is using uh, a BACnet uh, schedule block and so every device with, which is a smart equipment ingredient device has a schedule block uh, within the controller that is part of that uh, piece of equipment. This could be a rooftop or this could be a, let's say our zone coordinator and at that point we will sync that schedule to those devices and then uh, the device itself now has the schedule. So I will show you how we'll do this and then also penetrate down to the device and show you the schedule that has been downloaded to that device. So it, in the case of SVH even goes down or, uh, or you have a standalone condition of that piece of equipment, the schedule will continue to run because it's loaded at the equipment level. So there's a couple of schedules that are already preloaded here. Uh, so what I'm going to do actually, I am going to uh, go into one of the existing schedules. And in this case, uh, I want to go ahead and delete the schedule and I want to start all over. So I'm going to add a new schedule and I'm going to call this a master schedule for just the purpose of, of this training. And as you can see here, we have uh, Monday through Sunday and then we have what's called select devices and I'll get to that in a, in a second so first thing you want to do obviously the status of the schedule is enabled and uh, or you, you know, obviously you could disable it but I'm adding a new schedule here so I want to make sure it's enabled and I'm going to hit add so we will have uh, a pop-up like this so I'm going to really do a schedule Monday through Friday and then I'm going to say and this is a, a feature that's probably not easily known, but if I click in the center where uh, on this box itself when it's grayed out, you will get a pop-up like this, which makes it easier to select the time that you want to go to. So in this case, let's say I want to go at uh, 6 in the morning. I want to pop that up again, and I'll go 6 o'clock in the morning. And I want to go occupied, and I'm going to do it for Monday through Friday. I'm going to hit save and that's what's going to show here. Now I'm going to go ahead and put in my unoccupied period. So I'm going to go ahead and select unoccupied and then let's say I want to go unoccupied at 22, let's say at 2100 hours and that would be at 9 o'clock at night and uh, I'm going to say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday and I'm going to hit save. So I have clicked, uh, I've provided the occupied time, I've provided unoccupied time, and I want it just to be through Monday to Friday. Now within our documentation, our user guide documentation, we do explain how to do this, but one area that is uh, a little bit of 
uh, unknown, at least something you have to know, and this is really due to the BACnet object that we're using, and we're correcting this in the next revision. But for Verisys 1.0, one other step you have to do is to add another unoccupied time and for the period that you want, Monday through Friday, and you want to do it right at midnight. Now the reason for this is, is that the BACnet object that we're using, when it switches to the next day, it has to know what is the state that you want to be in. So even though I have 9 o'clock unoccupied at this time, I gotta force another unoccupied period at the midnight so when it rolls over to the next day it knows it needs to be unoccupied till 6 o'clock in the morning before it comes back on. Just a little bit of extra step that you have to put in for right now for Versus 1.0 and this is a must and uh, but that's just uh, for 1.0 in the next revision you wouldn't have to do this. We, we are fixing that within our smart building hub. So the next thing uh, you have to do here, now I have to select the devices uh, that I want to be able to schedule sync to those devices. So right now I have multiple devices that could accept this. This is a zone coordinator for a change of a bypass system. This is a zone coordinator for a VAV system. And then I have a bunch of single zone also uh, rooftops that are associated with this. So I'm going to go ahead and check on, on my rooftops and I'm going to check on my zone coordinator for change of a bypass system and a VAV system and I'm going to hit save. And then after that's done, you hit a save, button, uh, save after that. And what that does at this point, by hitting save, all the scheduled syncs have been downloaded to the controller. So if I go back to one of these devices, and let's say I select, uh, uh, let's say the North Wing, and this is a, actually a terminal equipment controller for a third party rooftop unit. And then if I go into the schedule and set schedule for that particular controller, you will see the same schedule that was downloaded to this controller via the schedule sync. So again, the schedule sync, which is part of the Smart Building Hub, uh, we created one master schedule. I selected the devices that I need to sync to, and it would download this particular schedule directly into the controller. The other thing I should mention here is that uh, for current revision, if I have a zoning system, so in this case I have a VAV and I have a change or bypass, we are downloading this schedule to the zone coordinator and then any associate hopefully uh, this uh, makes sense and uh, this is a very nice feature from a schedule sync perspective and downloading it to the controllers and this concludes my video uh, for this feature hope for you to come back for the next ones and I uh, hope to see you soon thank you very much